What is up YouTube? My name is Alex Banega and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the top three products on Product Hunt as of today, April 18th. So let's dive straight into this one guys. It looks like as of today we have Mercury, Witch Login, and Super Makers. So overall not that many upvotes on today's products, right? To, this is not one of these products has not even touched the 300 mark right and just to give you some context like the one below that that's promoted has over 6,000 upvotes a really good product by like a slack or airbnb or if uber drops something it's minimum gonna get a thousand so these products have not caught a lot of traction but we're still gonna check them out and give our honest opinion to those of you who are new to this channel i'm a ui ux designer so we're gonna be going over a lot of the branding the graphics what we think of the website and all that good stuff so Mercury, bank accounts built for startups. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, cool. So banking built for startups. Mercury makes bank accounts that help tech companies scale. Okay. Overall, the hero, the most important part of the site, I clicked it, right? The first thing I'm seeing, it's very simple, easy to understand. They're a banking system. They help startups. I guess if I'm like a tech founder up in Silicon Valley right now and I want to open a bank account, this probably piques a little bit of interest. My biggest thing product wise is why wouldn't I stick with a company like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase, something that's been around for decades and has a really credible track record other than getting on some hype bandwagon that could lose all my money if I have uh, you know, just picked up some seed money or Series A or whatever. So let's scroll down a little bit. So get full stack bank accounts da, 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 da. so it is fdic insured which that just means like your money is basically insured by bigger banks run your startup on modern rails okay so i guess if you want to make some sort of tracking system some analytical anything you know to track revenue or profit or expenditure i guess this you, you can do that if you have some development skill and then take your community with you wisdom with you Tap into Silicon Valley's core. Our network and expertise are always at your disposal, our investors. So overall, one of the things that I'm seeing is everything's small. This graphic is small. The trusted buy looks like it's font size 12. I barely was able to read this. I, you know, I, I, this is the biggest part of the website to me right here is that they have investors and these investors are not little tiny investors. They're not people we haven't heard. These guys are really big ballers up in Silicon Valley, right? The SV Angels, the Justin Cans, Airtable, Gusto. These aren't regular schmegular names just throwing out there. I don't know why this wouldn't be in the hero section up here just to give this some credibility, right? Bank accounts is different from an app that you download if you download an app you can delete it if you put a hundred thousand dollars in a bank account you need to make sure that hundred thousand is staying there no matter what and these names do say credibility trust longevity um, hustle success so i don't know why this wouldn't be up here that's number one overall though the website it's not horrible it's a little awkward with the scrolling thing i don't know why they just didn't go with the full white out theme the whole way why they have this little parallax effect just to show what what these little things are like the the, the key highlight points i don't know why they had that parallax right that, that that's just a little awkward to me pay zero dollars a month that's cool five dollars in wiring fees okay so overall this is not a bad website right this is very simple there's some awkward points like this parallax with this dark purple in the background and switching that up the graphics are a little small but this isn't horrible is this a site that i'm going to run to when i'm creating my next landing page for inspiration absolutely not but for the most part it gets the job done right the big thing for me is just adding this credibility to the top the graphics are okay, increasing that stuff, increasing some of the font sizes, and maybe just adding a little bit more depth around some of the content because the, the taglines are good, but I'm not really sold on what this bank account is going to do and why I should go with this bank account rather than a Wells Fargo, a Chase, a Bank of America, and whatnot. So that's what we have for today, guys. Mercury, and um, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna recommend it, but it's okay. They have some definitely have some good investors behind them, so that's cool. Which login? Let's check this out. So which login? Never forget how you signed into a website anymore. 
Okay, I mean, honestly, guys, if this is what I think it is, let's see if it is what I think it is. So which login? Learn in 20 seconds how it works. A browser extension to remember. So, okay, so this is exactly what I thought it would be. And to be honest, guys, Google and Apple have definitely, in my opinion, taken care of the whole forgot password thing. Now I just use my face to sign into Instagram, Twitter, my bank accounts, any kind of financial apps that I have on my iOS, Apple takes care of that for me. I haven't had to enter a password in months. Same thing for Google. Now recently, I transferred over my Google account, my laptop to basically separate my iMac and my laptop because before I just used a Thunderbolt cable to connect my Apple laptop and just use this Mac as a, uh, a monitor, if you will. Um, but I recently disconnected that. So now the Mac lives on its own. It had to, it's its own computer and I've had to re-sign into a lot of things. Google has made it extremely easy to just save stuff on the cloud and then transfer over those passwords. I think this is a cool application. I think they would have went far if this came out end of 2016, early 2017. But for me at least, I wouldn't use it. I definitely wouldn't pay $5 for this thing. Apple and Google take care of it fine for me for free. And um, I think they're just a little late to the game. On top of that, the website is not good at all, right? It looks very themey. It, it looks like some code that was thrown together in a few hours. I, I wouldn't use anything for this website as inspiration for any of my material or work as a designer. But you got to learn. So that's what we're going to leave it at. Which login? That's what we're going to leave it at. Final product of today, Super Makers, an indie game built with no code. So first off, I don't even know what the word indie is. Uh, is it's it to me it's a buzz term it's a tech term when i hear indie i think of india i think of some indian developer building something i don't know what the word indie is now i moved away from san francisco about a year ago and i think indie the the, the buzz term indie was just getting started but i still have a lot of tech friends that i hang and interact with i still go to the bay frequently i, I still don't know what indie is so let's check out what this is and let's see. So I have no idea what this product is. Super Makers. It looks like there's a video game logo here and ship it. Okay. So this is a game. This is a game that was built with no code, right? This is horrible. This is horrible. We're gonna mute that, this is horrible. I don't know why someone would invest development time into building this. This adds no value to a user. It's not fun. The obnoxious music that plays right when I click the link, not a fan of. The only thing that I could see this being beneficial to is if I had a coworker who I wanted to annoy. I had a few of those in my life where I would sit next to somebody, we were buddies and we would kind of do little fun things, right? Like leave notes. Um, on each other's desk or do something random like, you know, get the whiskey bottle or something and put it on the person's desk so it looks like they're like a drinker or something, you know, just little fun things like that. I, w I could see myself, you know, during a lunch break, if, if my coworker steps away, turning the volume all the way up, sending them this link and saying, hey, it's very important just to, you know, embarrass them for a few seconds. But other than that, there's no value. I don't know what this is. It's some game. I just got that Red Dead 2. That, that, that's the sickest game of the year in my opinion. I don't know why I would be playing any other game but that, especially not compared to this shit. So this is horrible. Um, no value. Design is horrible. There's nothing much I can say here. And you know what? The, the, the keyword, the buzz term indie just lost about 20, 20 points in my catalog book for cool buzz terms just because of this product alone. So shout out to all the people having fun, you know, with that. But like I said, there's no value there. I, I, I would send that to a coworker who I sit next to to embarrass them because of when that, that, that volume hits right when you click the link. Just some obnoxious like techno game music. That's the only value that I could see that product bringing. So overall, guys, I think the coolest product today was Mercury. Um, they have some pretty big investors behind them, but I, I would definitely would be very weary to put seed money of 
anything above 25k into that bank account without first learning a lot more and diving into a lot more of the materials because like i said why would you just go with the wells fargo or something of that sort um which login i think they're a few years late to the game but shout out to them for for still trying i guess and then super makers no value at all I can see that you being used as a prank, but April April Fools unfortunately already passed, so um, I don't see any value in that. So that's what we have today, guys. If you guys want me to review any product, go ahead and email me in the email below. You can add me on Twitter. I do these reviews daily, and I'm also a UI UX designer, so I have a few tutorials for anybody looking to get into the UI UX design game. That's what we're gonna leave off on today, YouTube. And until next time, I'm out.